So, British Malaya, we have long been wronged by the colonizers out there. Our leader, he's one of the guys, he's not even a person from this place. I don't I don't even know who he is. Shenton Thomas, yeah, well, what, what even is that name? That doesn't sound, you know, Malayan at all. So today, <laughs> today we, we, we take back what's rightfully ours. We, um, deal with the state of the colony, yes, the colony. Not for long, maybe, because we're gonna rise. We're gonna become the most powerful nation on earth. This can't possibly be hard at all, right? <laughs> And hey, thank you all so much for 17,000 subscribers, and hey, I have promised in the past that for 20,000 I will do artillery only, and I'll promise this won't be any regular artillery only, this will give artillery only a whole new meaning, trust me, it's it's not gonna be what what you're used to from, you know, artillery only, it's it's gonna be great, don't, don't worry about it, okay? We're already getting so many factories from trade, we started off with only one factory, but now we have seven usable ones just because of all Oh, all that, oh, that great trade we're selling to China, Japan, everybody, everybody, even Tibet is buying from us. That's how, that's how great we are here in British Malaya. Soon to be just Malaya, not British Malaya. Ah, soon Britain will be Malayan Britain. <laughs> Take that. Maybe, maybe. I don't know if we'll get that far. Uh, we'll try. We're also playing in the beautiful Road to 56 mod. It's a great mod. I don't give it enough t attention. I also have been requested to play Malaya many times. A lot more in the past than recently. Now I'm just requested to play TNO stuff mostly. But um, there was a time when I got requested to play this a lot. So I, I owe it to the good people of this, this community to play Malaya. To give it its moment in the spotlight. And we will definitely do that as we do something, yes. Riots in the streets, rightfully so. Angered by the current situation. Unable to take any more. Understandable. And now we're going to decentralize the economy. If we need to expand, we need to either become a fascist or communist. We need to do something radical, you know, to actually have an ability to move around, to declare on the Dutch East Indies, but mainly just, you know, be ourselves. All that great stuff, yeah. Also, we have no mills, which is not... Not good. It's not good to have no military factories, but for now it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, yes, and Stalin has declared war on Turkey in Romania in the early game. I, I don't know why, but I it's probably good for communism. Maybe maybe I should consider that. We can not only help the, the people of Malaya, but also the workers of Malaya and the workers around the world, yes. Uh, so we'll do some economy stuff. We'll reinvest into our economy. We'll seek investors, break monopolies, become self-sufficient. I don't know. We just need to build up our economy for our, our eventual rise to power, because if we're going to colonize the world that colonized us, uh, it's, it's gonna take a while. We've also removed our colonial colony modifier, so the UK isn't getting as much of our civilian economy as they once were. Our economy is still by no means great, but yeah, we can work on it. it. It'll improve over time. Try, we'll maybe become independent. I don't know, I feel like we have a bright future. Wait, we can attract American business interests and trade two civilian factories for six? That seems like a really good idea, honestly, yeah. We're also doing this focus to get some some military factories so we can actually start building an army and then I can do this focus to get some naval dockyards so I can build a navy because if we're going to take the Dutch East Indies we need a navy or at least something I don't know I don't know I don't think the Dutch East Indies well now they actually have a decent amount of divisions and the Dutch have a decent amount of divisions so this isn't like free we're actually really weak so we've been going around getting some help helping workers and I don't know. We can't really start the um, Great Crisis, though, until Japan's at war with us. Oh yes, we can fully incorporate the Unfederated States to get more autonomy. Oh, this is perfect. Now once we have the political power, we can just become a puppet. We're also going to um, request the UK's Malaysian fleet. I, I doubt they'll give it to us. It'd be a bad idea on their part, honestly. They, they can see what's happening here, maybe. But yeah, I'm going to improve relations. We can at least try uh, try to convince them that giving us the fleet over here would be such a good idea that would solve so many of our problems too considering we have one one destroyer that's that's all oh maybe i thought we were gonna have to 
fight against Britain, but they're they're transitioning us towards independence. Huh, that's nice. They're oh, they they went decolonization. They're gonna let the Dominions become independent. This this now makes it a lot harder to you know go through with that revenge story arc. Oh well, um, uh, putting that communist guy in charge might not have been a good idea. Now um, I I was just planning on doing the focus, but yeah, it's gonna take a while for Japan to get powerful enough. I guess I guess they're kind of close to owning that state. But anyway, I guess we have to do this now. But they have no factories, so all we have to do is hold on and they'll eventually lose. And now that we have planes from Britain, because they would of course give the rebellion planes and not their subject, that makes complete sense, yes. We will ensure air supremacy. Oh, the United Kingdom joined them, what? And France, wait, wait. That, this isn't fair. Okay, this time we're going to be, um, smart. Unfortunately, we start off on the weaker side. We only have one division, they start with two. We just have to hurry though before the UK inevitably joins, I guess. We won, nice, okay, that's that's good, yeah. Now we can start pursuing our ambitions of conquering the Dutch East Indies. It's gonna be a difficult battle, of course. The Dutch have around 18 divisions, most likely. The East Indies have eight or nine divisions, so. Yeah, we really need to build up an army, but I'm sure we have plenty of communist friends around the world who would just love to support us in our endeavors. We can just join the common turn, yeah. We'll join them, we'll start justifying in them. I'm sure they'll send help. Cause it's a pretty good common turn. We have Turkey, Romania, then Mongolia and Tanatuva. Ah, oh, well Japan is justifying against us, ruining all the fun. They have a border with the Soviets, so I guess the Soviets can probably deal with them, I'd guess. Okay, well anyway, it has begun. Japan decided not to declare war on us, and I think it's best that we just fight the allies with literally everybody else. It's our time to, you know, get at them, to, 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 to reclaim what we deserve as repayment, I, I don't know. But they're never gonna get more weak than this. Oh, Japan declared on us. Oh. Well, this complicates things. Um. I kind of forgot how important it probably is to have a navy as an island nation in the Pacific right next to Japan. Um, it was not good to fight the Royal Navy, the US, and Japan at the same time. Well, I guess we didn't really ask for the Japan part, but ah. Uh. Oh, I figured out where the Soviet army is. It's surrounding Tanituva, who left the Comintern. Oh, nice Mongolian leader. Too bad he's a Japanese puppet. And we got kicked out of the Comintern, which is, oh. Oh. Since the Soviets didn't join the war, I forgot that if we capitulated, we would just lose. Um, and they didn't even give us Singapore, they just puppeted us in this one state. Yeah, so I decided to give the fascist path a try to see if we could achieve victory through this one. And whereas we do get a navy on our side, because we get in an alliance with Japan instead of the Soviets, it unfortunately has the side effect of us becoming an integrated puppet of Japan, which j just recreates the same problem we had with Britain too, making the entire thing pointless because now we still can't conquer the Dutch East Indies and form the nation. If Britain doesn't allow us to leave, we are forced to ask Japan for help and then we become a puppet. And I can't get Britain to do one of these, so we're just forced to get Japan to help and become a puppet. It's totally based off of RNG if we could even get free in this one. I guess if we could theoretically get Britain to accept the event by some weird situation that allowed us to do that, then yes, sure, we could conquer the Dutch East Indies and get the cores, but yeah, this is not, not very easy. This country is actually 
Kind of hard to play as. Anyway, I'm glad I played Malaya though. It's been very interesting to see what it's all about. It is the weakest of all the British colonies starting off, I believe. So even though it has a bit of manpower, not as much as India, but more than Australia and New Zealand and such. It starts off with a really weak economy that you really have to build up, and even if you build it up, you're not strong enough to fight a major, of course. Sure, if I sat down and planned things out quite a bit, I can maybe come up with some sort of strategy to do this, but yeah. For now, I think we will leave it there. I guess if you want to see me uh, try more with Malaya, maybe try some other weak countries. Remember to let me know, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you